everyone. Welcome to another painting class with Dave. Today we're doing a uh, classical oil painting, uh, plain air style here out at the field. Um, actually, I'm here in uh, by the lake in Bayhead, New Jersey. And uh, let's get going. We have a great view, overcast day, but some nice cloud formations. So let's see what it brings us. Let's get to work um, looking to see if I can do this painting in about an hour to an hour and a half. And uh, let's see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm um, still here in the beginning stages of the painting, um, but I'm really just trying to get a lot of paint on the on the paper, and I'm trying to make it just start to build it up. Uh, I'm trying to take time to really develop the palette and mix some colors. Uh, sometimes that's just half of the work is really just mixing all the colors in the palette because start loading up the the canvas or the paper with colors that you don't want just makes this sloppy mess because you're trying to mix on the paper. So taking the time to mix on the palette really uh, makes a big difference in the painting. So always remember, slow it down, take a deep breath, mix on that palette, it'll make for a better painting. Use your color checker, check to make sure that the colors are, you know, perf not always perfect, but close and and looking like reality, not a super bright blue. Gray it down, mix it. Add a little orange to that blue, it'll really tone everything down. Let's keep going. I really like to use a palette knife when mixing my color. Um, trying to mix the color with the brushes. The brush just gets loaded with all these odd colors and I don't like to have like 20 brushes going. Maybe two, three or four brushes, two warm ones, two cold ones, something like that, okay? Um, if you're really mixing a lot with the brush, it just makes a big mucky mess uh, with your brush and you're constantly wiping it down. So again, really take the time to mix that palette and mix the colors on the palette using uh, a palette knife. Today I'm using this. I love this little thing. It's made in Japan. I don't know. Why does everything from Japan seem to be really cool? But this is a great knife. Let's keep going. painting a little with the palette knife. I really want this to be more of a painterly painting with brush strokes, but I really just want to get some of that um, paint up on that canvas so I can really work with it. Okay, and I'm starting to, uh, I know it's hard to see right now, but to develop what my composition is, which is going to be a big mass of clouds 
maybe with a little bit of blue sky peeking out here because I can see it. It's just kind of over here out of camera. And um, there's some nice trees across the way. So I'm going to have that right about here. So I'm working on that composition. I always want to uh, make sure that's looking um, looking good and I want to have an important piece that really draws the eye in. Let's keep painting. Okay, the light is constantly changing, but that is what you're always dealing with when you're painting outside, uh, plein air style. So uh, don't get frustrated, Stay, try to stay focused on your original plan and uh, keep using what you have. You have to evolve as the painting comes along. So um, stay focused and keep going. Okay, it's slowly coming along. I have been painting for almost an hour, or at least I started mixing color 55 minutes ago. So uh, this is what we have so far, and I'm pretty happy. I have this idea where I'm gonna put these trees that are just back over there, and that'll be the focal point along with uh, just some of the cloud formations. It's looking pretty gray in the sky right now, but there were some hints of blue popping out like a half hour ago, so I did stay uh, with those hints of blue. Um, but it is coming along, and um, when I make my brush strokes, I do always want to make sure I'm going like this, and not just going in the same direction all the time. I want the strokes to be interesting. It looks more uh, painterly, um, more artistic. I think that looks cooler. Let's keep painting. Okay, I've been painting for about an hour and 10 minutes and it's coming along. I mean, I'm pretty happy. Not every painting is as good as others, um, but this one looks pretty good. You know, Pablo Picasso once said, once you've finished a painting, you've ruined it. So you gotta know when to stop. You gotta know when you're gonna over mix or when just hitting with one more brush stroke is still going to be the last stroke and um, you know there's no rules so you can start at the top you can start at the bottom you can start with brights you can start with darks so it's really hard to determine that kind of decision but you just go with it it's painting you just really have to be out here enjoying yourself you put the painting down 
you step away, you look at it, you put it in a you put it in a drawer, and you look at it a week later, and you see things that you didn't see when you were originally making it, and you most of the time are happier because you're in a different uh, mindset from when you were originally making it. So um, it is looking pretty good. Uh, it's coming along. I'm going to make a few more strokes and probably paint for a full 90 minutes, and um, we'll wrap it up soon. Okay, let's keep painting a few more. Just wrapping up this painting, doing a couple aggressive moves, um, some big strokes here and there to make it more interesting, changing a little bit, but I don't want to make it altered. I don't want to alter it too much. I want it to be, um, I don't know, I don't know what I want it to be, but it's coming to the end here. Um, but you just start to get a little anxious at the end you start to make a lot of changes and you got to really stick with your guns and just let it be. So I think I'm going to stop here. Um, but some of the things, let's just check out my palette. I've mixed a lot of colors. And I'll save some of them. But um, just really start off with yellow ochre and cadmium yellow, cadmium red light. Um, burnt umber ultramarine ultra ultramarine blue indigo blue and um, titanium white that's it I have red out here but I didn't even use it uh, my brushes and this little nifty thing is my color checker which um, I made but you can put a little blob of color on there and then look through the hole and see if it matches what's in the distance. Um, really works well if you're doing a painting inside. Okay, so thanks so much for watching this video and Okay, so here's the completed painting. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, keep practicing, keep painting, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video.